you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Come and follow me. Right there, Jesus, right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Asking him to come follow him. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God, okay? This is such an important story. Look at what did his disciples do when he, he asked them to come follow him. They dropped the net and they went. They didn't question, they just went. This man who truly believed and he did believe Jesus was the son of God. That's the way I read it. And he asked Jesus for the answer. Can you imagine having Jesus right in front of your face? And, and there's a lot of people that ask Jesus if they can follow him. The guy who um, had the demon pulled out of him and put into the pigs, he asked Jesus if he can follow him. He said, no, you stay here and spread the word though. And he went and spread the word. Jesus gave him an opportunity to follow him, to make history and to change the world. But he didn't do it because he didn't want to let go of the things that he was comfortable with in this world the money or whatever it may be and this is the one thing that i want to leave with you guys how many times it's not just one time that you decide to get up and go and follow jesus it's something that you got to do every single day every single day he's going to have a mission for you and the question is are you going to be the guy who holds on to your money or are you going to be the disciple that drops his net and goes with him this is how this is how this is the difference between i believe people who believe in Jesus because he did he believed in Jesus but then you have the people who walk it they walk the path and that's what I was talking about early it's it's earlier it's having action it's actually making change it's actually putting seeds in people's hearts and minds all over this country to where you actually change things you actually have an impact on things instead of just staying at home the people who just stay at home and don't go out to make change those are the ones that's like the young rich man who believe but they're just gonna, yeah, no, not gonna do that. Stay in the house, stay in the house. And so that's what I want you guys to question every single day or in your lives, is how many times has Jesus asked you to follow him for anything? No, I don't want to, I'm scared. No, I don't want to, I gotta, I gotta make my money. No, I don't want to because I'm not gonna look good. I'm gonna look stupid, I'm gonna trip up, I'm gonna fall. How many times have you refused to do something that Jesus asked because you're afraid of failure? Well, you're, you're so worried about what other people think, that's more important than the, the path that Jesus has laid out in front of you? Because Jesus wants to walk with you to change things every single day, okay? And so that's very important, and that's, that, that story has had a huge impact on me because I feel like I was him for a long time, and I still am at certain points, okay? But when you, that's what I'm saying, it's all, imagine that guy's life, how much that guy's life would have changed. Right there, he had a decision, and he went, he went this way, and he went away from Jesus. Look at what the other disciples did. They went with him, and what they changed, they, they started a revolution and changed the whole world. That's how much of an impact you can have in this world if you choose to walk with Jesus, okay? So I'm going to, guys, I'm going to finish up with a prayer. Um, if anybody else wants to pray or say something, feel free, and then we're going to, Head, head back and, and um, it's just really cool that you guys are willing to come out here today and, and, and just bring it back to Jesus, bring Christmas back to him because it is one of the most beautiful things that ever happened in our world. Amen. Get up here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm Quincy's wife. Um, I've uh, been listening to everybody and I think it's really great that we have come here and march for Jesus. Um, it really brings
so so invaluable and you know bring them in out of the the nursery school on Sundays into the church for the meat you know um, I think that a lot of children get raised up on milk for so long that they miss the meat and the real solid aspects of the gospel of Jesus Christ and a lot of children end up like me um, we have three older children then we have a six-year break and we have four country that are struggling with so many things and, and I ask that you you help us put you first help you can be the solution to, to so many problems that we have in this country God I know that we're just plagued with anxiety we're plagued with fear we're plagued with so many <coughs> things and we keep looking for solutions outside of you but God I ask that you help remind us to bring it back to you make you the foundation in our life make you the center of our life put you first and help us understand that everything will fall into place just the way that you intend. God, I thank you so much for, for all my brothers and my sisters, my family, <coughs> everybody who's been here along the whole way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right, anybody else? All right, let's go back. It does. It does. I, I don't know what it is. I just start shaking and I can't see and I get dizzy and I forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have a fear of camera. But you can say get, get over those fears, right? Yeah. So you were a ranger at one time? <laughs> pain, so. Yeah. So, um, how'd you get injured so bad in ranger training? It wasn't. It was actually before when I dislocated my knee. I relocated it myself. Uh huh. And then I went through jump school. Uh huh. And then after jump school, I went to ranger, and I kept going, and I would mm -hmm. not stop. I refused to stop. Uh huh. So one injury turned into many injuries. Huh. And I have a very high tolerance to pain. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I would do it all over again. I just felt like I was meant for it. Yeah. You know, I grew up. But you wouldn't have made the same mistakes. Um, <laughs> or you yeah. would. I probably would have ignored it. I still ignore all my pain now. Uh, um, but I would have pushed myself harder. What put me out was the last PT test. I tore my hip flexor and collapsed on the two mile run. Hmm. Um, 
came in after that, but I did 93 push-ups, 112 sit-ups in two minutes, and then a 14, 13, two-mile run and tore my hip flexor. Ooh. But then when I collapsed, they're like, oh, you're going to get a bone scan. They bone scan my whole body. And mm -hmm. I was just broken down. They're like, you're out. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> <laughs> so do you get uh, VA be uh, disability benefits? I do full disability benefits. Chaplaincy program in the VA now. Uh -huh. and I'm in seminary school. I'm also a pastor. Um, I recently hmm. resigned. I more like took a leave of absence. Mm. Because I'm pregnant out of wedlock. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was seeing some of you. We were celibate the whole time and it just happened. Uh huh. And it didn't work out. Yeah. And so what we did was appear in Christ and he started to change. Else. Yeah. So, I kept the baby. Yeah. Which I don't mind. It's my fifth child, so. Right. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's almost a 10 year difference between my youngest and this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you got another kid, too. I have four others. Whew. Almost all teenagers. <laughs> um, besides my son, he'll be nine. <laughs> By the time the baby's born, he'll be almost ten. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm having another girl, so I'll have four girls and one boy. Yeah, I came out of the mil of a, came out of a military family, but I wasn't mil but I was never in the military. My uh, grandpa was in World War II. Um, he was in the Airborne, and huh? army then I'm assuming yeah <laughs> and um, he uh, um, uh, they wanted to move they wanted to give him a battlefield uh, commission make him a lieutenant and he said no <laughs> first lieutenant second lieutenant I don't know I just heard he was gonna they were gonna make him lieutenant he said no he refused the uh, commission. Uh, I would see, was he enlisted? Yeah, he was a sergeant. So, okay, so they wanted to they wanted to put him from Green to Golden, from yeah. enlisted to officer. Yeah. I would have said, well, see, I wanted to be a chaplain, and I wanted mm -hmm. to serve enlisted first. But most enlisted don't want to be an officer. Yeah. Uh, they will as once they become in, you know enlisted first. Uh -huh. But then you go have those that will just go to college and then go right into the enlisted mm -hmm. Well, see, my grandpa's thing was that he didn't want to be moved from where he was at. He was airborne. Uh -huh. He liked jumping out of planes. He liked shooting at Germans and stuff like that. Um, it, as, soon as, they, uh, as soon as they make you an officer, they move you and put you somewhere else. Uh -huh. And he didn't want that. Well, yeah, you move every two to three years, but even going as an officer, yeah, you Still could. Um, as long as it's in a <laughs> and then um, my dad was in Vietnam in the Air Force. Yeah, I should not have both notes. Yeah. They pay you to sleep in hotel rooms. <laughs> uh, and then they paid my uncle to sleep in uh, jungles. <clears throat> my dad was in the Air Force. My dad, my ground, my uncle was in the Army. My uncle was Special Forces. Oh. <clears throat> huh? Too old for Special Forces. <laughs> <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> 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 yeah. The stuff that he told me about, you know, you're sitting there and all of a sudden there's an enemy division that just showed up and you're like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to take a picture down by the waterfront. You want to take a picture down by the waterfront? <laughs> Where are they going? To eat? I don't know, probably. Are they going to their car?